Hello, my friends. Welcome back to The Morning Mindset. I hope you're ready to get your minds aligned with the truth of God. I appreciate that you appreciate audio content like this, but I know there's some of you who appreciate writing just as much as you appreciate audio. In case you didn't know, I have a blog going on at kerrygreen.com, and I also have a tab there with books that I've produced, including some fiction books. If you want to check those out, go to the website, kerrygreen.com. You can find all of that information. Now, I want to ask you today, what do your actions say about you? Have you thought about that lately? How is the way you're living revealing what's going on inside of you? Does it reveal Jesus as your greatest treasure, as your King and your Lord? Or does it reveal that maybe you value your own comfort and your own safety more than you would value Jesus or you would value doing what he says even when it seems strange or risky or others might laugh at you or whatever? You see, these kinds of questions help us to kind of get a finger on the pulse of our spiritual health. And Proverbs 20 verse 11 is a very simple verse, makes total common sense to us when we read it. And it points out that we need to be engaged in this kind of evaluation. Here's what the verse says. It says, even a child makes himself known by his acts, by whether his conduct is pure and upright. So imagine a child, let's just pick an age, say seven years old. A child demonstrates by the way they behave what's going on inside. If their conduct is pure and upright and respectful, and responsible for a seven-year-old, obviously, then we say, what a good kid, or this guy's parents are doing a great job. You see, even that child can reveal their character by the way that they act. Well, let's flip the coin over. Say that child is a snotty brat. Say that child is very disrespectful. Say that he goes to a restaurant and throws food all over the place. Say that he has tantrums all the time. What's that child's actions revealing about his character and about what's going on behind the scenes of his life? Well, maybe he's uh, involved in some sort of terrible abuse at home. Maybe there's some sort of uh, uh, lack of parenting skill inside of his home. I mean, all kinds of things could contribute to such a thing. But the point that Solomon's making here is that if this is true of children, it's equally true of adults. You see, our actions reveal what's going on inside. So I want to ask you again, what do your actions say about you? Friends, we are called, as Paul says in Ephesians, to live a life worthy of the gospel. Now, that word worthy can be problematic at times. It doesn't mean we are earning anything. It means our life represents the gospel well. Our life demonstrates that the gospel is true and alive and well in our lives. And what is the gospel? Well, it's the truth of Jesus Christ dying to pay the price for your sins and my sins, and that we have received that gift of forgiveness. And as one who's received it, we are now a follower of Jesus Christ. We committed our lives to following him, to doing what he says, to demonstrating him in the world. And I will be the first to admit to you that that is a very tall order because living a life worthy of the gospel is a miraculous kind of life. And the good news for us is Jesus not only forgives our sins, he gives us the power to live the kind of life he asks us to live through his Holy Spirit who lives in us. And so friends, when you ask yourself that question, what do my actions say about me? Keep in mind, whatever your answer is, it doesn't have to stay that way. It doesn't have to remain subpar or disappointing or less than you would want it to be. You can learn step by step, beginning today, to rely on the Holy Spirit of God to give you the wisdom, to give you the power, and to give you the strength to demonstrate that Jesus is your highest treasure. Oh, Jesus, you are so good to give us forgiveness, to give us the ability to live a new life. And now, Lord, we ask you in your goodness to give us the understanding 
and the wisdom of how to practically bring the Holy Spirit online in our mindset and in our conduct so that today we can live a life worthy of your gospel and that we can be encouraged to see your work in us and then again the next day live a life worthy of the gospel and see you build a pattern in our lives that says by our actions that Jesus is king in my life. Lord, that's what we want. That's what we pray for you to do in us today. We ask it in the powerful name of Jesus. Amen. Friends, pray with me for the next 60 seconds for spiritual renewal in our world. Lord God, it is our hope and our desire that as you transform us from the inside out by the power of your Holy Spirit, you would cause a ripple effect to begin from our repentant, humble hearts to the next person around us, and then from them to another, and from them to another, Lord, to see the ripple effect of your transforming power Go across our world, Lord. Transform the high. Transform the lowly. Transform the mighty. Transform the humble. Lord God, change hearts as only you can do. This world will not change. This world will not be transformed unless you transform it. Lord God, we're asking you, we're pleading with you to pour out your spirit on old, young men, women, and make your name glorious as a result. In Jesus' name.